with with Rory, I really wanted to um, find the heart underneath. And, um, you know, he does some things, his, some of his actions are questionable. And, um, but the thing um, I always wanted was that uh, the sense that underneath that he was always operating with what he thought was the best thing for his family, even if it, even if it wasn't. And so it was one of the first things that Jude and I spoke about. And um, Jude is such a warm and generous person, such a big heart. And so it was clear that he was going to bring that um, in addition to the charm and the energy that Rory needed. So, um, and then with Allison, she's, she's many things. And it's, it's not often, I think, that you see a character in a movie who is, you know, two very clear, clearly different people almost. Uh, and you, we needed to have someone who could be both things and completely ground them and intertwine them, um, which, which I knew Carrie had the, the power and the energy to do. So the, the, I, I wanted to have a contrast between the two places. I wanted to start off in a house that was very beautiful and cozy and, um, and it feel like a very nice, comfortable life, um, but it's just not enough for Rory, you know, and I wanted the move-in house to really embody that, uh, his dream. Um, and so I, I wanted to find a house in England that was, um, sort of above what you're, you, you can find very beautiful houses that's like a successful trader living in Surrey, commuting to London, would live in. And so, um, but we wanted to go above that. But if you go too far above that, you could have people living in castles. And so when we searched for, um, when we searched for the house, we were trying to find that in between. It was just a bit, a bit more than what your average a successful, very rich trader would have, but it couldn't be too ridiculous. And so we found that balance. And the other thing is that I wanted to have really open spaces inside. I wanted to be able to um, see down long hallways and always have open doors and, uh, you know, this sense that you couldn't control and close it up. You couldn't make it warm. You couldn't make it cozy. You couldn't. Uh, and so this house had, uh, it's almost every room in the house has two or three doors. And so you can always see outside or see into the next room. And that was a really important factor and, and very difficult to find actually. Now I wanted to create a sense of, um, of isolation uh, that, the, that the family's feeling emotionally because of what they're going through and really embody that in the house and use the space in the house to, to contribute to that. It's about communication. It's about communication within a marriage and it's about communication with oneself too, about asking the questions of what is important to me? Um, where do these values I have come from? Are they even mine? Were they passed on from family? Were they passed on through society that I grew up in? And, and, and those often apply to marriages and families. I mean, marriages and families having these sort of set of agreements and ritual and, and things that they form subconsciously um, and, and whether, whether a family or marriage shares values or not and, and the conflict that arises from that. Even before COVID, I, I felt I wanted to set it at a time that was, it's set in 1986, but I wanted it to be very subtle in its portrayal of the time in order to reflect really what's going on today. And, and although some of the issues are specific to that moment in time, I think they're completely universal to now. And we're still asking the same questions and still, um, uh, you know, living uh, as a, a result of things that happened in that time period. Um, and I think in terms of, you know, I never like to tell people how, how to respond or how to feel. I think as a filmmaker, I try to tell a story, let the character lead, and not judge the characters and therefore allow people to have their own response and bring so m and give and give the space to bring their own family experience to it i mean i've heard people say i've never seen people like that i don't know what that is or people say i know exactly who that person is you know it's 
and, and I think that's the beauty beauty of film. I mean, the the, the one thing I do say is I you know I, I want people to go into it with an open mind. Mm -hmm.